Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I'm here with Ian and so we're gonna sit today and we're gonna minister to 10 people. So if you would like to receive ministry, please write your name in the comments and I'll put you on a schedule and I'll minister to you. Uh, and I'll just let you know, I'm already scheduled till next week, Saturday. So, wow. that's, yeah, so that's where I'm at with the list. So if you put your name on today, then you'll probably get your word next week Saturday. All right, awesome. So uh, the first person I would like to minister to is Michelle Brown. So Michelle, what the Lord was showing to me is how he brings the rain of his blessing on your life. And then I saw a patch of grass that was kind of dry, become completely green and it's growing new uh, sprouts. And then I see sheep come and I come and eat that, that green grass. And what the Lord said to me, that He is blessing you so that you can be a blessing to the children of God and to the sheep of God. And so I see out of you come uh, comfort and they come uh, um, teaching also and even helping people and having resources uh, to help people in your family and in the body of Christ. God bless you, Michelle. Okay, Vicky, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Uh, the picture that I saw for you was if you're in the desert and it's hot, you thirst off after water. Your body knows what it wants. It, it's no doubt about it. Uh, but when you're not really sure what your body needs and if you've got a shortage, it is sometimes difficult to pinpoint what is wrong. I see you need more of Jesus. Now, it is not that you don't love Jesus, not that you uh, don't know Jesus. The thing is, you need to focus more on Him as a, um, a, a resolution to your challenges, to your problems, to whatever. You need to have that direct communication with the Lord where you can say, um, okay, Lord, I'm not sure what I need to do here now. Let's say somebody said something bad or negative to you, uh, even if it's just in your mind. You say, Lord, I'm not sure what to do now. Give me word, give me inspiration. And then I just see it's like a scroll where the Lord gives you some verses, scriptures, whatever is needed. But God will definitely give you um, information that's going to help you with your understanding and I see that's going to bring a very big breakthrough in your business life but also uh, in your family life as well. Be blessed. Hey, awesome Vicky. Uh, God loves you very much. God bless you. Okay, so the next word is for Johnson. So Johnson what the Lord is showing to me is how there is a flow of ministry coming out of your life. Now I've always felt that you have a business and a ministry anointing on your life but the Lord shows me worship coming out short little messages uh, full of wisdom and full of power i even saw a healing and just the anointing of god uh, flowing out of your life and so i felt that the lord says he is opening up the tab even bigger god bless you johnson okay olu the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you uh olu, the word that i saw that, that i get for you is like a um like a parachute but the one that's already open i think it's a paraglider uh, anyway um, when your ropes collapse, a lot of time people panic and because they panic they, they can't focus and they can't think what to do. But if you've got experience, those guys know, hey, hey, I must be careful for this, I'm doing that. And I just see it as if you're in that situation and where the Lord just says, I'm with you. Like the wind is always around you, the Holy Spirit is always with you. The Lord says, I'm with you. Do not panic. If you need to, close your eyes, focus and say, Lord, I'm drawing from you. And then it's just like a, a river that flows through you. It, it removes all of the bad things or the things that the enemy plays there to obstruct the flow of God. But also out of you will flow rivers of living water where what comes out of you is going to be something good. It's going to be something that brings life. And I just see how people around you is just going to be amazed at the... Uh, uh, at what flows out of you, but definitely it depends on what flows into you. Be blessed. Hey, uh, uh, Olu, God bless you. So, uh, Jana, Tana, uh, what the Lord is showing to me is the evangelism anointing upon your life and how you lead many, many people uh, to God. And I also see of the, the nine spirits of the Holy Spirit, uh, the gifting, of, and the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit, sorry, uh, the gifts of discerning of spirits, um, uh, faith, uh, miracles, and healing. 
those things the Lord is activating in your life. And so do not be afraid to cast out devils. The Lord is giving you authority and anointing. And so do not be afraid to lay your hands on the sick to see them uh, recover. And I felt that the Lord wants to give you boldness uh, to rise up. God bless you. Okay, the next word is for Evelyn. Evelyn, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of like a child when they first discover a light switch. It's off, on, off, on, off, on. And they're so amazed about this uh, new invention that they discovered. And I see with you it is the same. And some people is like, stop playing with the light switch. Don't, and, and you don't allow yourself to go through the process of actually connecting the dots. How is this possible? Because a lot of people is just, it's logic. When you switch on the switch, the light's going to come on. But there's a lot of workings behind it. You need uh, electrical energy. You need to have the wires connected and all of those things. And I just see how the Lord says, when you get a revelation, just allow yourself more time without the interference of other people to soak into your mind, to influence your understanding, to say, wow, this, this is a helpful tool. Even though some people already discovered it, for you it's something new and the longer you're going to spend and meditate upon it the more you're going to draw from that but not just for that but in the future all of that process is going to help you tremendously to uh, analyze a lot of things more on god's way Be blessed. yeah evelyn um uh, i remember when i was a student uh, they always say to us faithful available and teachable and i just felt that the lord wants to bring new equipping into your life and so you have to make yourself open to say i've learned so much in my life and i've experienced a lot but i need more equipping oh right, god bless you evelyn okay sibongili uh, uh what the lord showed me uh, is a, a desert or a dry land and where you are and you say but how can i prosper when it's so dry and the lord reminded me of isaac in the bible that he was in the middle of the famine and in the midst of that famine the lord multiplied him his uh his flock multiplied, uh, even his crops multiplied, and so the Lord supernaturally brought increase to him. And I just felt that the Lord says, Son, trust me where you are. I'm not asking you to move to a different place. I've planted you there, and I'm going to prosper the, you there where you are. God bless you. It's it's Gile. Gile. Yeah. Yes. Okay, the next word is for Lydia. Lydia, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I just saw a picture where the Lord says, I'm going to take your meditation process time and I'm going to turn it upside down down and i see there's definitely going to be a different way how you analyze and how you think over um, spiritual information that the lord is giving to you so just work with the process you you in the beginning you're not going to understand why is this happening now but just allow the lord to do his workings in you uh, i see there's a lot of things that you're going to realize there's a better way to do it um, and i see don't neglect the, the influence of the Spirit in your life. A lot of times we're like, yes, yes, I know that. But we don't sit down and listen and allow, as soon as you sit down and allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you, He's got to speak more to you. So where He speaks now a word or two, and you say, okay, I, I've got it. The Holy Spirit's going to speak a lot more to you when you just say, here I am, Lord, speak. And I'm going to listen so that you get all of that information that's actually going to help you tremendously to grow be blessed hey lydia god bless you uh, thank you lydia also for all your comments and your participation uh, in unity with heaven uh, so the next person is uh, tommy lenku all right so tommy lenku the lord really showed on uh, to me on your life there's a pastoral anointing and i actually saw how you put your arm on someone and how you comforted that person and how healing was flowing out of your life and and how the lord gives you wisdom to counsel people and so i really felt that the lord says just keep on growing in that anointing and that call that god has for you and you'll see how more and more people around you will start to look up to you and receive from you and you'll start to minister more but that anointing that god has placed on you is very very strong god bless you okay uh thank you tomalenko the next word is for dawn dawn the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you i saw a picture of the person that made the cross you know that the lord made that person that made the cross where he hang on he gave that person the skill to do what is necessary now just here even though when that that person worked on the cross 
even though he was not fully realizing what is going to be about to happen, he still did his work, his job, and I think he did a very good job. Now, in this process, even though people form things negative around you, just know that the Lord also loved them and placed them around you for a purpose. Even though some people might think, wow, if that cross was never made, it wouldn't have happened. No, it would have still would have happened. But don't focus on the negative. Focus on what can you draw from the situation. And I see there's a lot of headbutting of people around you. But I just feel the Lord says, just ease out in the, in the circumstances and allow yourself to take what is good and filter out what is bad. But don't just say, no, everything is bad. It's not going to work. Be blessed. Hey, uh, Dawn, uh, God loves you very, very much. Uh, His hand is upon your life. Family, it was a big pleasure for us to minister to you today. Um, so uh, uh, we we minister to people because we, we are called by God to do it and we love people. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time. God bless. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.